Welcome back to Sunday School and Talk. We're going to have another primary lesson and we're going to start with an opening prayer. Then we'll have an opening hymn, Count Your Blessing in page 241. Okay, this will be our lesson. We can read this in the book of Numbers chapter 11 to 14 and chapter 20 to 24. And it's about rebel not ye against the Lord, neither fear. So when God commanded us, we should obey that and we should follow. And we should not fear against our enemy. So let us learn that here. So here in Numbers chapter 11, verse 4 to 10, I can be thankful for what God has given me. So we should learn to be grateful on, on the things we have. So in this story about the Israelites and Moses, we learn here that they are so ungrateful and they continually complain against Moses and to God. So even though God had so, shown them uh, miracles and wonderful things, they continually to disbelieve and have a lack of faith. Okay, so they keep whining and asking uh, on things that they need and complaining about, uh, about that to Moses. So instead of asking politely on the things that they need, they complain that the, they should not travel or they should have not left the Egypt because they suffer so much in their journey. So if we have faith, we can endure the pain. We can endure the trials or challenges that we face. So let us read here. Okay, in verse 10, then Moses heard the people weep throughout their families, every man in the door of his tent. And the anger of the Lord was kindled greatly. Moses also was displeased. So we can see here that they are, all, they are always complaining wherever they go, to their family, to their home, or to, their, to the tent. And Moses heard about it. And God heard, heard it also. And Moses and God was not happy or they were, uh, they were really angry about it. So we can see that uh, sometimes uh, Moses lost his patience and he struck the stone so that the water came out from here to give it to the Israelites. So there are a lot of consequences when we are not grateful. So let us focus on how to be thankful or to be grateful. So let us answer this question or this blank, uh, this blank space. So I am thankful for family, for our home, thankful for food to eat, thankful for our clothes. And we can look around what are the things that God has given or provided us. So if we are grateful, God will be pleased upon us and he will, um, he will give us more abundance or more blessings. So here in chapter numbers, uh, number chapter 13, verse 17 to 33, and uh, chapter 14, verse 6 to 9. Faith can help me not be afraid. So if we have faith in God, we will not fear. So like the story here where there are 12 men that Moses commanded them to look for the promised land. And 10 of them came back afraid because of the mighty people who lived there. Two of them, Caleb and Joshua, were not afraid because they had faith in the Lord. So with their experience with the Egyptian when they were being chased, so God showed that great miracle upon them that he was able to divide the part of the Red Sea and they walk on the dry ground. And then when the army chased them, I see was returned to, to its normal or covered those armies and were killed. So how can they fear their enemy or those people who live on that promised land? So let us read here in Numbers chapter 14, verse 9. Only rebel not ye against the Lord, neither fear ye the people of the land, for they are bred for us not. Their defense is departed from them, and the Lord is with us. Fear them not. So knowing that God is with them, they should not be afraid or fear those people. Because God will protect them and show them that it will be when God said that it will be that that place will be the promised land, it will be given to them. So um we think they or they think or reason out as a man. So without uh, asking God's help or counsel to their prophet, and except for Joshua and Caleb, that their faith is already strong enough 
That's why we do not fear those people that live in that promised land. So here in Numbers chapter 21, verse 6 to 9, I can look to Jesus Christ. So we can see here that because of their disobedience, something happened to them. So they were beaten by fairy serpents. So let us read the story about here in verse 6 to 9. And the Lord sent fairy serpents among the people, and they beat the people, and much people of Israel died. So there are a lot of Israel died on that um, on what happened here because of their disobedience. Therefore, the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord and against thee. Pray unto the Lord that he take away the serpents from us. And Moses prayed for the people. So they plead now. So they were awakened of their, of their sins and asked for forgiveness and asked for help so that they may uh, survive this uh, incident. And the Lord said unto Moses, Make thee a fairy serpent, and sit it upon a pole. And it shall come to pass, that every one that is beaten, when he look upon it, shall live. So this is the instruction of God on how to heal them. And Moses made a serpent of brass, and put it upon a pole, and came to pass that if a serpent, that if a serpent had beaten any man, when he beheld the serpent of brass, he lived. So this is the way that they can be healed by looking upon the brass of serpent that Moses made. So this is also the instruction of God. So just as the children of Israel were healed by looking at the serpent of brass, the children in your class receive salvation by looking to the Savior. So when we look upon Jesus Christ and uh, see what he has done for us and his example, and if we follow upon those examples that he made, so we can uh, we can be healed. We can also have inheritance of wonderful blessings in the day to come. So Jesus Christ has the power to heal me spiritually. So sometimes we are brokenhearted. We made mistake and we feel um, the pain of our sins. But because of Jesus Christ, we learn that He has the power to cleanse us and to overcome those uh, weaknesses by trusting him. So many Israelites died because they did not have faith that the Lord would heal them if they look at the brass serpent. So actually when we read more about in the Book of Mormon, we can learn because uh, we learn we can learn there that because of the easiest and the simple way, it was the it was all a simple instruction, a simple thing to do. Just looking upon the brass serpent that Moses hold here they can actually be healed and survive from the from the poison of the of the serpent but because of the ECS and a simple a simple way they did not believe it and the old uh, some of uh, most of them died here so only those who have faith and look upon the brass was able to survive and live so what can we do to look upon the Son of God with faith? So let us read here in the Book of Mormon, Helaman chapter 8, verse 15. And as many as should look upon the serpent should live, even so as many should look upon the Son of God with faith, having a contrite spirit might live even unto that life which is eternal. So by looking upon our God, especially Jesus Christ, we can be Heal. We will offer to him the contrite spirit and broken heart, and we should trust him that he will help us. So uh, we can change little by little or step by step. So that's how we increase our faith. Also by reading scriptures and going to the church and doing good service to our fellow being. So here in Numbers chapter 22 to 24, I can follow God's will even if others try to persuade me not to. So some people will actually discourage us or will waken our faith to God. So we should have more firmer faith by uh, knowing who are the people should we trust and people who can strengthen more our faith. So Balak tried to persuade Balaam to curse the Israelites, but Balaam knew that this was against God's will. Balaam's example could help the children when they face pressure to disobey God. So when we're 
uh, we are facing some um, challenges with obeying God's commandments when some people or some group of people will tell us that uh, oh, it's okay to disobey it for a moment for just a while. So uh, for the example of Balaam here show that he feared God more more than uh, uh, more than Balak can do here. So Balak is actually the king of Moab. So he offered him honor and riches. So um, whenever we are facing this kind of of scenario in our lives so let us pray harder and and ask for strength to obey god rather than listening to other people or those people who have power or who will give who will offer us more uh, something better so um let us learn here that um god has more power and has has the power also to bless us and to strengthen us more or he will curse our lives. So it's important that we should obey God more than the by obeying other people because we fear them. We fear what they can do or because they have power and connections. So we shouldn't listen to them and we should focus more on what God can do or what and how he can bless us more. If we not, if we will not obey him, we can also see the consequence of our action. We can see that uh, our lives will be cursed, or we will be, we will suffer some consequences. Okay, this is an activity, but so we can see that it's actually a comparable about the brass serpent to Jesus Christ. So by looking upon him, we can be healed, we can be saved. So for me, it's not just looking upon Jesus Christ. It's about knowing him more, looking it more deeply. So what can we do to become more like him? So if we will do that, we can feel more his presence and we have the strength to, uh, to continually to obey all the commands of God no matter what. Uh, the challenges or the difficulty that um, may arise because we want to follow all the commandments that was given to us. So we may be tested, but God will show us that he has the power to bless us more. So I know the things I have shared to you are true and I would like to leave that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I hope that you like the story about the Moses and the Israelites and and how God showed them the way that he will be saved. And we can see, we can learn also in the story that we should not always be complaining and we should put our faith in him. So for us to be blessed and we will be protected. So thank you for attending this class and I hope you like it. So continue to support the channel by subscribing, like and share. Leave a comment if you have any suggestion or question. And please don't forget to hit the bell so that you will be updated for my coming video. Thank you so much and God bless you soon. Bye-bye.